<clears throat> Church, hey, welcome to our Five for Faith today. If you're watching this in real time, it is the week of Christmas 2020. Boy, we have so many things to be thankful for this year, so many ways that we've been blessed. But on the flip side, it's been a very difficult year, hasn't it? I mean, remember back to this epidemic that at first was in March and moved into a pandemic where they said, hey, just stay hunkered down for a few weeks, maybe a couple months, and this thing will turn and we'll be back to normal. And, and then nine months later, here we are. You know, I'm reminded of all the things that were going down with people thinking the end of the world was happening, still do, and, and there was hoarding of uh, toilet paper and fights over paper products. Do you remember that? And here we are fast forwarding still in the midst of this virus. But if you're like me, you're probably beginning to have an attitude. <laughs> you're a little bit at, on edge, maybe. You're a little more snarky or short with people. Um, maybe you're salty or whatever. And it, I just find myself wanting to complain to whoever will listen right and it's really affecting my attitude it's for affecting who i am and it really is difficult we need answers and we just seem to get political rhetoric so that makes it even harder who's really telling the truth but folks as believers we need to be the people that have the good news now i'm not saying we have the answers to this problem or all problems but we have the answer to hope we have the answer to the future. So first off, we should take note first of the difficulty of just not even complaining. Right? To be found in a place where we choose not to complain. Paul says that we can be made blameless in a crooked and depraved generation. That's interesting. Even way back in Paul's time, he was dealing with a difficult world. He would say further in this passage in Philippians 2 that if we stay away from complaining and arguing, we will shine like the stars. Hmm. How does that look for us, shining like stars during this time, sticking out like a sore thumb? Because our attitudes are different. Man, I could really use that. And this is a dovetail to the second thing I want to mention. And that's found in this passage as well. And we see it in a different kind of attitude that Christians have. He first says, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but consider others before yourselves. And then he says this, your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus. Another version says, adopt the same attitude as Christ. You know, this thought of adoption, this thought that you, you've been chosen, or you, you, you choose to get in that relationship. Uh, and, and that's what he's talking about here. Choose to have a Christian attitude. Even in the most crummy times, choose that over complaint. And, and for me, I need to knock that in my head. Choose it, own it. Folks, when we're out in the world, during even during this season, people are desperate. The fear's in their eyes. Say a kind word to them. Let them go first in line. Perhaps help them with their groceries or whatever it may be. Show kindness and a different kind of attitude. I like the thought of being a shining star, sticking out with our attitudes different than anybody else around us. Why? So that they can see Jesus. Hope this encourages you today. Merry Christmas.